Partnerships and relationships are hard to do. Hello, my name is Gordon Gonzalez. Um, where can we start? <laughs> well, where can I begin? I guess I can start by saying um, a lot of us, a lot of us who come from our communities, I see people come and report, maybe do a film about our communities, and um, so I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> um, yeah, they never seem to tell the truth. So, like people from my area always seem to turn away from watching the news, watching Australian films, because they don't seem to portray Australian life or what it's like in 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 our perspective. But um, I was glad that a serious work um, gave us a shot, because there was a story that I feel needs to be uh, talked about and spoken a, a lot more about, and that's the refugee situation. Um, <coughs> the reason because of this is, to me, I found, I found it uh, strange that I'll be looking through photographs of video with hospital, what, what I need, uh, which is called video with detention center now. Um, <coughs> and um, as I was looking through these photos, uh, I noticed there was no fences. There was no security guards, there was no police, there was none of that. So, it, it's always been fascinating to me to see this is what we experienced and uh, the neurologists are experiencing something different, but the situations are different, they're still refugees and looking for help. So to me it was like, something that I think this is why I wanted to tell and curious work uh, trained and helped me uh, to, do, to do that. And that's how I made like safe in that. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, my name is Dave Jagan. Um, I came to Australia in 1998. Uh, I finished my studies here as well, and it was great. I love Australia. Um, I finished audio engineering in 2008, but I didn't know where to go. So I'll talk about my experience with Fury Break and about this film that we made, which is Little Mom. That's our biggest film we've done, like, until now. I really like it because I found my son, so I'll, I'll talk a bit of that as well. So I finished in 2008, but I didn't know where to go. Like, I didn't know many people, you know. It's, it's very hard. Like, you need to know people to get through this part and doing films and stuff like that. So I, I knew like, um, uh, a director named Khalid Sabi, and he um, introduced me to Curious Break. And that was like after two years from finishing my degree. And this was great, why? Because uh, I got a lot of experience from Curious Work, and uh, that helped me get out of my shell, like how, that's how, how they say, you know? So, um, telling the story, it, 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 like before, before, before I go to Curious Work, I can't talk like in front of people like this. I would never do it, you know? But after telling my story and like feeling how good is that, like to tell your story, to to make the people in front of you understand like where you come from and what's your situation and all this stuff. It's it's great for you and for the people in front of you because it's great for you because you can tell your story, you can um, make the people understand where you come from and stuff like that. And what you're about and because we all all human beings, you know, like we have different views of life, different views of everything, you know, different views of refugees, you know, definitely we all have different views of refugees. So doing that, like telling our story, made us feel like for me personally, like I got out of my shell. Now I can tell what where I came from, like why do I do this, why do I do that. Now it made me think as well, think like positively about like um, say my experience through video detention center that was it was inside of me. I never told it to anyone uh, to anyone like until I finished 
within uh, a month when we told the story and we directed it and stuff like that. So we told our story. And getting out this story out of us made me feel great. Because now the people understand what I went through in the Video Education Center. They understand what I am about, like what I'm doing and all this stuff. So if you have a story, you have to tell it, you know, like tell a friend or something. And this is a great way. Like filming, I think, and us, because I do music as well. Uh, I do Irish music, wedding and stuff like that. So I <laughs> hope doing music and art and stuff, it's, it's great because um, you feel bad in life and um, like you get a lot of your feelings out and that's a great thing for you and me, I think. And yeah, that's all. Thank you.